What is going on, guys? JD from New York here, back with more Black Ops 3 information. Really didn't want to do this video. I didn't even plan to do this video, but I figured I wanted to get something out before work, and uh, this is the result. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure to hit that thumbs up. I'll be back with more Black Ops 3 stuff this weekend. I have a Man of War best class setup, and my favorite class that I have come up with so far in Black Ops 3 that has made me very, very successful playing Kill Confirmed and Team Deathmatch, man. So I will be dropping that tomorrow, so make sure to tune in for that right here on my channel. But Vondahar finally has posted on Reddit the weapon changes and the score streak changes that are now live in Black Ops 3. Double XP weekend also coming this Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 1 a.m. Uh, 1 p.m. I should say for us guys here on the East Coast. That's 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. And uh, the weapon changes are as follows. A lot of weapon changes, guys. The CUDA, starting with the submachine guns. The CUDA increased ability to control recoil. I have not sat down with the CUDA just yet. I've been using the VMP, I've been using the Pharaoh. I haven't even used anything else, man. I haven't used the Vesper, I refuse to use the Vesper. Razorback I haven't used because compared to the Beta, it was doing nothing. It was a piece of shit. Haven't used the Weevil. I've only picked these guns off the ground, or picked these guns up off the ground, I should say, and each and every time, I've got nothing but hit markers upon hit markers upon hit markers. Black Ops 3, hit markers. That's what they should fucking rename the title. CUDA, increased ability to recall control. VMP, time increased when aiming down sights. Hipfire spread increased. You VMP users, do not worry. I was using it all last night. I'm assuming the, uh, the patch was live last night. Didn't really notice any difference, bro. VMP is still a beast. The Weevil, increased ability to, to control recoil. Vesper, reduced lethal range. Fucking thank God. The Vesper is fucking outgunning assault rifles, bro. Should not ever happen. And then I get fucking crucified when uh, I say, JD, you know, uh, you know, why are you talking about the Vesper? You know, I, I complain about the Vesper being fucking uh, overpowered and it needs a nerf. I get called fucking every name under the sun. Shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know about gun balance. Yeah, I do, asshole. Play the fucking game. You'll see it yourself. Or maybe you're that blind and you can't see what's going on around you. But I'm sure you've been killed with a Vesper at assault rifle range. You just refuse to see it. I have, and it sucks. Reduce lethal range. You also could use a fucking nerf to rate a fire, to be quite honest with you. It's a scorpion on steroids. Razorback. Will the Razorback finally be useful again? Increased ability to recall control and increased lethal range. I might actually start using that. We'll see how different it is with this new patch update for the submachine guns. Razorback, increased ability to control recall and increased lethal range. Assault rifles, KN44, increased ability to control recoil. It didn't really have any recoil on it. It did, but it was noticeable. It was noticeable. Always take a grip with the KN44. I don't know how this is going to play out after this patch. You might not need the grip, but I always take a grip, man. Grip um, and a red a red dot sight or an EL, ELO sight and uh, stock. That's all you need on the KN44, but in this patch update, increased ability to control recoil. The XR2, movement speed reduced. It could use a fucking damage nerf if you ask me as well. This gun, more times than not, I'm running into it in close quarters and I'm fucking melted. When I have a submachine gun. XR2 is the best submachine gun in the game. Movement speed reduced. What difference does it fucking make? You're gonna get some fucking degenerate who's camping behind a barrel, a car, a box, a cliff, laying prone. He's gonna be aiming down sight with a fucking thermal or an EOTech sight. And he's gonna be fucking waiting for you to round that corner. And boom, you're dead in one burst. But it doesn't need a fucking damage nerf, right? Yeah, JG doesn't know what he's talking about. Shouldn't be one burst to kill, bro. Should be two. Easy. HVK-30. Increased ability to control recoil. HVK has been slowly becoming one of my go-to guns. But still, I just feel like I can't play well when I just have 
the HVK equipped with three or four attachments. I just, there's just something that comes over me that I don't feel right. But it, it got a, a buff, increased ability to recall, uh, to control recoil. ICR, I was using it all day yesterday, man. Feels good. It feels good. Increased ability to control recoil. Hip fire spread reduced. Fixed an issue with a reload animation when certain magazine was equipped. I don't know about all that. I don't. I, n I never ran into that. But the ICR, man, it's a beast, and it's got no recoil at all. It's a fucking laser beam. It does take uh, quite a few hit markers to fucking down somebody, but it's still a beast, man. I like it. Rate of fire is beautiful. The accuracy on it, the the recoil is beautiful. You know, if you can bypass the fucking hit markers that it's gonna get you, it's a great fucking gun. Man of War, my go-to baby. Increased ability to control recoil. That's all that happened with the Man of War, man. Great. Still one of the best, if not the best, assault rifles in the game. M8A7. You might need rapid fire on the M8 now. Rate of fire reduced. So you guys who uh, like using the M8, rapid fire might be uh, useful to you guys now. But Black Ops 3 has become nothing but a Vesper M8 sweat fest. So uh, hopefully this deters people from using it. Because I can't stand fucking seeing it. Shotguns, the KRM-262, removed three hit kill, now guaranteed two hits. Yeah, that's great. The 205 Breachy, or Brecky, how the fuck you announced that, increased lethal range. Yeah, that's great. The Haymaker 12, increased lethal range. Yeah, that's great. Just what we need. Scrubs running around with fucking shotguns. Combine, shotgun users. Ran into about four of them yesterday. You know what I did? Back out. It's fucking cancer. Honestly. I don't know why Vondahar continues to nerf the shotguns. Increase lethal range. Really? Like, I need some degenerate coming at me at assault rifle range, spraying with an automatic shotgun, and I'm dead. Should not be happening, Von. No reason to be buffing the shotguns. LMGs. The Dingo. What your mother called my fucking Dingo last night. The Dingo. Movement speed increased. Ability to control recoil increased. The 48 dredge, rate of fire reduced. Those are the only two LMGs that got patched. No Gorgon, what happened, bro? Seriously. Even though I really haven't seen that much of the Gorgon lately, I've seen more of the Dingo and I've seen more of the 48 dredge, but knock on wood, I'll say that and then when I hop on this morning, I'll fucking run into all Gorgon users. Pistols, MR6, movement speed increased. RK5, movement speed increased, reduced lethal range. Elkar 9 was fucking destroyed. Elkar 9, movement speed increased, reduced damage, reduced lethal range, and hip fire spread increased. Elkar 9, nice knowing you, buddy. Nice knowing you. Score streaks, this is where it gets interesting, and this is where uh, Vondahar fucked up. HCXD, finally we got the patch notes on all these. Explo explosive damage increased. The dart, explosive damage increased for collision explosions, handling tuning, minimum speed slightly reduced, fixed an issue where the dart was not locking onto enemy players. I did get the dart out of a care package, the speed was reduced, it's definitely easy to handle, and I still can't fucking use it. I must suck at the fucking game. The dart is not one of those streaks I will be using, but the HGXD I was using all night last night, doubles and triples for days, bro. I love it. The explosive damage is beautiful, even though it did not need it. But thank you, Vondahar. HGXD is definitely one of those streaks where you're just prestiging, and you gotta take it, bro. It's definitely going to come in handy. The talent, AI control damage, slightly increased. Beautiful. I want my shit doing work for me while I run around, man. I don't want to sit laying prone somewhere and then get killed instantly, having my talent just fucking fly around. I want it to do work for me as I do damage on the ground with my gun. Mothership, increased number of missiles required to destroy by two. Owner turret, explosive bullet damage increased. Owner rocket turret, projectile speed increased. Haven't seen any motherships since the game came out. So, I really don't fucking care. Hellstorm missile, cluster bomb, explosive damage increased, and this is a fucking lie. The Hellstorm missile was not even fucking altered, bro. They didn't do shit to it. I dropped a Hellstorm on four guys on Redwood last night. You know how many fucking kills I got? None. It sucks. 
It's the same shit. For the love of God, Vondahar, give me back the beta Hellstorm missile. There's no reason why you can nerf you can nerf the Hellstorm missile like you did and give the Rolling Thunder the fucking unbelievable fucking buff. I can be in a building with the Rolling Thunder and get fucking killed. Rightfully so. That's what it should be doing. The Rolling Thunder got a huge buff. Explosive radius per drone increased. Explosive damage per drone increased. Added four pairs of drones. And health per drone increased. People were shooting these things out of the fucking sky. Unbelievable. Rolling Thunder is definitely your jackpot go-to. Unbelievable. Cerberus. Increased missiles required to destroy by one. Increased EMP grenades required to destroy by one. Cerberus is a beast. Definitely one of the best streets in the game. GI unit. Increased number of war machine hits required to destroy. Slightly increased duration. Slightly decreased time to stun when hit by an EMP grenade. GI unit does work. One of my guys actually had it last night. It was going in. UAV. Increased base health. Counter UAV, increase base health. Wraith, increased base health. Fixed an issue where Flak Drone would not in intercept incoming missiles. Wraith was going to work with one of my guys last night, TDX. He posted a picture on Twitter. Got 22 kills with the Wraith, man. The Wraith is back. So if you guys love using the Wraith, use it. It's going to do work. Raps, increased number of missiles or... Uh, increased number of missiles required to destroy the deploy ship by one. Increased health per drone. Explosive damage per drone increased. Raps is going to be beast. Uh, I had a few guys get that out of a care package last night. And it was going to work. And definitely it takes longer to kill them. The explosive damage, you can't get away. You're going to be dead instantly. And uh, it's going to be one of those streaks to run, man. Good shit by Vondahar there. And the lightning strike. Beautiful. There's no more delay, bro. It comes in like a lightning strike should. Reduce the time between target selection and payload delivery. I've been getting jackpots regularly with a lightning strike, man. So, if you like my jackpot loadout, lightning strike and rolling thunder, bro. Mix that with a sentry gun, and you're good to go, man. I love it. Those are the patch notes for everything that Vondahar released yesterday. Double XP going live today. As you see this, it should be live right now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with more Black Ops 3 news. I'll be back with more Black Ops 3 live commentaries, gun reviews, class setups, man. Make sure to tune in tomorrow to my channel. If you guys are interested in seeing my best class setup with the Man of War, man, my overkill class setup. First time I'm revealing it to anybody. Apparently, everybody is uh, telling me there's a glitch with it, but I don't fucking care, man. I was using it way before anybody realized there was a glitch for it, and it works. So I'll let you guys know about that. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. I'll be back with more news on Black Ops 3. This is JD, and I'll talk to you all very soon.